Hey friend, do you know what is the definition of the radius and why we using that? Generally, radius is the shortest connection between the center of the circle and the boundary of the circle. And in the circle, all the radii have the same length. It is a half of diameter. And because of that, we have to possible to find the circumference and the area of the circle. In the similar way, we define the total distance from the atoms of nucleus to the outermost orbitals of electrons. As you can see in the periodic table, that helps you to explain how the atomic radii change. But atomic radius is fairly difficult to determine because there is uncertainty in the positions of the outer electrons. We do not know where is the electron is, what is the electron position exactly. This explanation given by Heisenberg uncertainty principle. An atom will have a different radius based on the bond it forms. So there is a no any fixed correct measurement of radius of atom. The atomic radius is useful for X-ray studies and it appears there are four operational concepts. And the first is the Van der Waals radius. It is the one half distance between two bonded atoms of two molecules and it is useful for measuring the size of atoms which are not chemically bonded. And the second is the covalent radius. It is the one half of the distance between the nuclei of the two covalently bonded atoms of the same element in the molecule. But here exception for heteronuclear diatomic molecule because for a heteronuclear diatomic molecule in which the atom is linked by a single covalent bond therefore the bond length is given by two format first here both atoms having same electronegativity and second is both atoms have different electronegativities this relation is given by Schumacher and Stevenson Third is ionic radius. It is described by Pauling method. Here, size of the ion is inversely proportional to the effective nuclear charge. Effective nuclear charge means how many individual electrons experience the positive charge in the polyelectronic atom. S means leading constant. Generally, leading effect sometimes refer as atomic leading or electron leading, and it is described the attraction between an electron and the nucleus in any atom. But actual definitions of leading effect is a reduction in the effective nuclear charge on electron cloud due to the attraction force on electrons in the atom. And Z means numbers of protons means actual nuclear charge. Third is crystal and metallic radius. The definitions of crystal and metallic radius is the one half of distance between the nuclei of two metal atoms in the metallic close pack crystal lattice. Now you have to keep in the mind the following points. First, Van der Waals radius is always larger than covalent radius and crystal radius. Second, atomic and ionic radius increases from top to bottom due to increases in the numbers of shells and the corresponding increases in screening effect of inner electron. Third, atomic and ionic radius decreases from left to right because of increases the effective nuclear charge. But in case of the transition element, size does not change much since the additions of electron take place penultimate d orbital. Penultimate d orbital means electrons always added in second last shell of orbits. For example, 4D orbit takes place after filling the 5S orbital. Fourth, isoelectronic species are neutral or ionic species, which have the same numbers of electrons but different nuclear charge. The ionic radius of isoelectronic ion decreases with the increases of magnitudes of nuclear charge. And the last one is the size of the cation decreases with the increases of oxidation state for same element. Okay guys, now I end this video, but 
but uh, before I end I want to say that if you like this video please like and comment okay thank you bye bye